Hey folks, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the sultry sound of my voice, as today it's a crappy, rainy, cold day, um, and I realize that I have not done a guitar building class update since the very first one I did, which was like, I don't know, a year ago. Um, and that's, that's sad, because I'm a sad little man sometimes. Anyways... Uh, I'm going to go through the pictures that I have taken. I don't take any video while I'm working up there. Um, and I don't really don't take a whole lot of pictures, mostly because I'm working and trying to learn how to use different types of machinery and trying to come back with, well, with all my fingers. So um, I guess we'll just kind of get to it. My kit was a, uh, uh, it's an LMI kit. Um uh, I upgraded the back and the sides from mahogany to Honduran rosewood. My top is a standard Sitka spruce top. Other than that, I mean, it's just a, a pretty standard acoustic kit from them. Here you can see I have glued in my um, uh, my neck heel um, or my neck block. Um, I've already thickness sanded the uh the sides um learning how to use a uh, a jet thickness sander usually i make a face like that uh when i'm running that piece of machinery um it just scares me um it's uh it's a big noisy thing and with my with my already uh, in place hearing loss with hearing protection over the top of it i don't hear something so I'll make one pass and it'll sound fine and then I move it down just a skosh and then it sounds the same to me and then somebody comes in with their hands in the air going stop 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 and I don't know what's going on so anyways I may be a hand planing guy uh, from from now on uh, so anyways I got that done here you can see that I've got the tailpiece um, glued in the guitar's in the mold. It's an LMI mold um, that we're using as well. They're they're pretty slick, but they're also a hundred and something bucks a pop. Uh, here is the the uh, the jig or the fixture or whatever you want to call it um, that uh, I use for uh, making the join uh, on the back and the top. This is a very large, very heavy, very flat piece of granite and uh, uh, the side of this is set up to be 90 degrees to that uh, so we just lean our pieces up against the side of it and sand a little bit um, uh, put the pieces together walk up to the window look for light cracks uh, and uh, just keep going at it uh, until the the silly things mate uh, here's a very nifty cool gluing um, uh, tool uh, that one of Al's uh, former students uh, has built for him. It is a really slick deal. Uh, you can get some really nice even pressure uh, on the sides of it. Um, here's my, uh, you can see my back uh, here has been joined up. Just had the glue slathered on it. We got the big bag of uh, uh, of heaviness uh, laid on top of it. Here's the uh, the top that I've got. It's a standard Sitka spruce top. I didn't go for you know uh, uh, you know I didn't upgrade that at all. So this is their kind of bog standard. Really nicely grained. Uh, it's got some nice silk uh, running through it. Here is a, a very poorly photographed. Uh, picture of it uh, you can just kind of see a little bit down especially down in the lower left hand corner you can kind of see uh, just a little bit of uh, the detail in there here we're using uh, Sitka spruce uh, curved linings um, uh, and the nine million clamps you got to have to do uh, stuff like that it is glued just a little bit proud of the sides because in order to fit the profile uh, that we dome uh, the top of this guitar to, we're going to have to sand that to the profile um, so we can get this. Oh, that's kind of a nice arty shot there. Um, so we can get that to, to mate, 
evenly. Uh, here is the back uh, graft or the back strip uh, that's glued down uh, on the go bar deck. Uh, my back braces are made of cherry. Um, and again, we use the go bar deck quite a bit. Uh, here's the uh, the upper braces um, getting plotted out. Uh, these are Sitka spruce uh, for the top. This is not the Nazca lines uh, down in Peru. That's just plotting where things come out. Oh, this is just ugly. Uh, this is um, when you're terrified of machinery and you, know, you let that intimidate you and affect your single-celled brain from operating correctly. You make big, ugly cuts and uh, so that's what I did on my side. So there will be some creative woodworking to get the uh, the tail part of my uh, guitar looking okay. Uh, bridge plate going in, uh, again, on the go bar deck with these cool little Ikea lights um, that makes just some nifty little uh, shadows. And I know it's hard to believe, it took me a year to get there. Um, I only go for a half a day at a, at a pop, and I only go a couple of times a month. Um, but again, if you're watching this channel, you know Rattle Can is run on a budget. Um, you know, if it were up to me, I'd be up there, you know, three days a week, every week. Um, and I would <laughs> have built uh, a slew of guitars and would probably be broke. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I will, uh, I'll give you another update when I've actually done something. Um, so, hey, enjoy, uh, the rest of your day. Uh, I hope it's not as cold and windy and rainy, uh, as it is where you're at. Um, if I don't talk to you before the first of the year, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, or is it Merry Kwanzaa? I don't... I don't know. If anybody is in the, you know, the Kwanzaa camp, let me know if I'm supposed to wish you happy Kwanzaa or merry Kwanzaa, what the proper term is. Uh, anyways, um, enjoy the holidays. Uh, be safe. Don't drink and drive. Um, and uh, keep on checking back. Like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Cheers, folks. Hey, if you've enjoyed this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check out the videos below. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to us over on the YouTube. You can friend us over on the Facebook. And you can follow us on the Instagram as well as the Twitter. See you next time. Thanks for watching the train wreck. Cheers.